On this 4th of July, we celebrate all that we stand for, all that has made America great, and we celebrate all that we can become. You know, I watch the news every night just like you do, and there's a lot of division in our country right now. But the whole thing of Christianity is not to be divided, but to come together and to realize that we all can come together for our common good. And that is what we seek to do. We do not try to separate ourselves into different camps. We are Christians that care about others, even those that don't believe exactly the way we do. We always seek to come together and to join as one. Because in oneness, that is our strength. United we are strong, divided we fall. And therefore, we stop trying to be in our tribes, on our sides, and we seek to, to care about others, to really place ourselves in their shoes, and to try to come together in a common knowing that we are all under the umbrella of the one God and that we are all seeking to allow God to come through us as us. What does that mean? It means to become loving, to care, to go the extra mile, to seek to lend a hand, to seek to guide and to help. May we celebrate all that we have been on this day, and all that we are, but also all that we can become. Nothing in America has ever been stagnant, and we are not stagnant now because people under God are never stagnant. We are always moving ahead. We're always becoming more. We're always becoming greater. And the greatness that we can become is to become individualized expressions of God. Individualized expressions caring about others and really reaching out in thought, in prayer, and in a sense of, of wanting to seek to become one. I wish you and your family, from my family to yours, a very, very happy 4th of July and a safe 4th of July. May God bless you.